Theistic evolution is the idea that the living creatures, including human beings, that exist on the earth today are the result of natural causes that have pro progressed throughout millions of years, billions of years, that led to the creation of the first life form and then more complex life forms and ultimately evolved into animals and plants and human beings that we have today. So that's the secular evolutionary viewpoint and some people have adopted that and said this is the process that God used so we can believe the Bible that God is the creator and believe science that this is the explanation of how God created these things. But the more I examined the claims of theistic evolution the more I was convinced that it, is just, it just cannot be made compatible with the teachings of Scripture. If we view Genesis 1-3 to as historical narrative, which I think we have to, it's part of the historical story that begins with the creation and progresses through the book of Genesis and then through the rest of the Bible. If we view it as historical narrative, as truthful, then we have to say that Adam and Eve didn't descend from other human beings or human-like creatures, but Adam was created from the dust of the ground by God, and Eve was created by a rib out of a rib from Adam's side. Now, people can say, how can that be? But God's creator of the universe, he can do that easily. And Genesis 1 says he did. Also, if we believe theistic evolution, then Adam and Eve did not commit the first sins, but there were many, there were tens of thousands of human beings on the earth. And uh, theistic evolution would say that God just chose two of them, one man and one woman, and said, now you're Adam and you're Eve, you, are, you represent the human race. But what that means is that Adam and Eve had human parents, they weren't the first human beings. It means that Adam and Eve weren't the first people who sinned, but there, were, there was violence and theft and murder and other kinds of immoral behavior going on for thousands of years before Adam and Eve. They weren't the first to die, but others had died before them. And so that contradicts the idea that uh, sin entered the world through one man and death through sin, Romans 5. In fact, I have in the, the new edition of Systematic Theology, it's a, listed not only Old Testament passages, but passages from 10 New Testament books that affirm the historicity of many details in Genesis 1 to 3 that are denied by theistic evolution. I just don't think it can be matched up with Scripture and made compatible. <laughs>